Round 11 of the FIA Motocross World Championship, the Fiat Professional MXGP of Lombardia at Ottaviano. Thomas Covington with a whole shot in the MX2 qualifying race as his teammate, Thomas Kerr Olsen, fell at turn one. Covington led, closely followed by the 46 of David Puches. He was nudged aside by Jorge Prado, but regained second place. As championship leader, Paul Jonas was in around sixth or seventh place, battling with Ben Watson on a Camille Yamaha. Calvin Volandron also made a good start for HRC. Towards the end of the first lap, he was around about fifth place. And Watson tried to make an early move on the South African. As the race went on, Jonas gone onto the rear wheel of his teammate as they battled over third place. Eventually made the pass through the waves. Both riders a little bit untidy out of the turn. But by the end of the straight, Jonas was through. Covington, though, was pulling clear at the head of the field. The gap between him and Porches was starting to open up. Valandra was happy in fifth ahead of Ben Watson. Ika Laranaga was good in sixth as well. Jonas cut down the inside of Porches. Eventually, he made the pass stick to go into second. And he was already a few seconds down on Covington. The race leader. Prado quickly followed his teammate past the Dutch rider to get himself into third, around about the halfway mark of the race. As Valandra lined himself up for a pass on the 46 as well. He was successful to go into fourth. Watson was next to move into fifth. All of a sudden, Puches was down in sixth. But from second, Paul's Jonas fell to fifth, and that's where he would stay. Thomas Kier Olsen charged through the field. He eventually got himself up into ninth position with some hard riding. And Conrad Muse was having a good ride as well, eventually coming home in seventh for Hitachi Asa KTM. But it was a win for the third time for Thomas Covington from Prado, Valandron, Watson and Jonas. David Puches came home in sixth for his best qualifying of the year ahead of Conrad Muse and Ika Laranaga. Yeah, you know, I just got the whole shot there, and uh, that's what we've been working for these last few weeks, like I said. And uh, After that, just I tried to get a gap at the beginning where I could just kind of relax and maybe find some uh, different lines and just try to save as much energy as possible. The track out there is really, really, uh, you know, physically demanding and just want to have a little bit left in the tank for tomorrow. But, yeah, the bike's running great. I think Rockstar Energy, Husqvarna, and now FMF. Tracks is the fastest name in radio control. 100%. Everybody helping me out. Thank you. In the MXGP qualifying race, over on the far side, Tim Geiser went down at turn one after getting squeezed by Roman Fevre. Tony Cairoli also caught up in that as well. He stayed up but would fall later on on the lap. But it was Jeremy Siwa on the Wilvo Yamaha and Roman Fevre from Monster Energy Yamaha that led the way from Tommy Searle on the bike at Dixon DRT Kawasaki. Kevin Stryber so quickly moved aside the Brit to go into third for standing construct KTM. Cortez Paulin was up there as well, but his teammate, Max Anstey, was ahead of him, giving chase to the Montreux Kawasaki of Clement de Salle. Cairoli was charging hard through the field, but his early part of the race was littered with mistakes as he looked to rectify his mistake at turn one. Siwa and Fevre. Cut dashing figures at the head of the field as they pulled away from Strybos. Cairoli accepted a move around the outside of Boutron to get himself into 20th, but there was still a lot to do. Fevre, though, on lap five, eventually found his way past Jeremy Siwa to take over the lead. Tony Cutro, Tony Cairoli continued his charge through the field with that move on Geiser. Put him up in around about 15th position as Paul Land found his way past Strybos. Next up on the list was his number 99 teammate, Max Anstey. The two rock star energy Hasfanos would eventually come home in fourth and fifth. The best result in qualifying for Max Anstey in 2018. In the closing stages of the race, Jeremy Seaver on the Wilbo Yamaha found his second place under threat from the monster energy Kawasaki of Clement de Salle, Paul Land. As Simpson 
popped up with a threat, but not for long, of Kai Rowley. But then again, not many people did. Even Lupino succumbed to the hard charge of the nine-time champ. But it was a first qualifying race win of 2018 for the Monster Energy Yamaha Roman Fevre. A best qualifying of the year for Jeremy Seer in second. The final turn, Kai Rowley charged past Van Horvick and Tommy Searle to nail seventh at the flag. So Fevre wins from Seaward to South Third, Paul and Four, and Steer's best result of the year in fifth. Strybos likewise in sixth, Kai Rowley and Searle, you top eight. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm really happy first. Uh, take a good start. Second, almost all shot, and then. Uh, yeah, I was uh, following Jeremy Sieber for a few laps, uh, looking his line, and then I find some better uh, lines, on, uh, some corners. So uh, I decided to attack and uh, yeah, make the pass like, uh, yeah, it was not so difficult. And then, uh, yeah, I was, uh, let's say, controlling the race, n not trying to don't use so much energy on that track. It's out, it's out, out there, so uh, yeah, uh, now the weekend starts good, so hopefully uh, tomorrow it's another day. It uh, can be completely different, I know that, so uh, stay focused. And uh, thanks to my team, uh, Monster Energy, Yamaha, Factory MXGP team, uh, they did a great job, and uh, let's see tomorrow.